morning everybody welcome back to HPI Auto my name is Kendall for those that don't know me we're starting this video off in the in the 2016 2017 Bentley Bentayga SUV this is a very luxurious SUV that we have it on consignment I'm going to show you guys around this spec and show you everything that it has to offer so let's go ahead and get started now starting off with the interior you've got this beautiful dark brown leather interior surrounded by really nice wood trim as well as like a darker brown leather and then you have that deviated double stitching of the light brown it's a really really classy interior inside of this 2016 Bentayga. Little digital display right there and then you've got your two gauges right there. You've got really nice just space inside of, inside of this SUV right now. You've got your navigational screen right there which is touch no stop no stop no you it's possible stop now this is touch screen it's a little bit dated because it is a 2016 slash 2017 uh system inside of here but you've got the buttons on the side surrounded by more wood trim right there you've got your shifter down here you do have so many driving modes in the bentega you've got sport bentley mode comfort custom winter off-road and so many different options you also have the ability to raise and lower the suspension on this suv which is a really nice feature You've got your hill assist right here and then you have your traction control buttons right there you do have a little it's like a little storage tray but if you lift up this entire thing you've got two cup holders right there so that's actually a really nice little touch right there that storage right here keys wallet or whatever it may be you have storage right there my, my glasses are right there right now the ac controls are a little bit funky you do have to press in and out pretty much open and close the vents the opening up the center console area it is a little bit uh I don't know, it's a little tough. But opening that up, you do have a little bit of storage area right there. You've got your USB ports right here. Closing that, you can slide these forward so you get a little bit more elbow room and space right here while you're driving on those long rides. Again, with this beautiful brown leather, I love how comfortable these seats are. They are so nice and cozy. They're fully adjustable, are heated and cooled seats. So that's really big plus, especially again, if you are using this as a daily driver or if you're going on long road trips, maybe you're going out to the mountains and need a little seat warmer for your bum. There you go right there. I love the diamond stitching. Ventilation's all right here. And then you got the Bentley logo right there. Now opening up this lift gate, it is automatic. You just click the button and there it goes. You've got tons of storage. You've got a little privacy piece right here, you, but you have tons of trunk space. I'm honestly shocked at how much trunk space they actually, they really give you. And there's still plenty of room. There's still plenty of room for the passengers in there to have leg room and move around. But it's really nice. Just a nice little black uh, carpet kind of feel. Very clean. I like it a lot. I'd probably put like a rubber mat down, make sure this stays clean and make sure this does not get stained or anything. But overall, I like it. It's pretty clean. So what's cool about this lift gate is that you can actually technically air out the SUV with this button right here. So if you're loading, say you're, you're loading mulch, you're loading heavy stuff and you don't want to like hoist it up all the way, you can just gently kind of lift it and put it in the tailgate and then you just press it back it'll inflate the back it'll inflate that back suspension component and you just you're good to go again i love that that's very very handy it's very thoughtful for those who are you know again going to lowe's going to home depot and just putting a lot of stuff in the truck so looking at the exterior it's a very clean really really nice white exterior with the black wheels you've got a five spoke wheel right there you got a nice black grill you will notice that there are some red accents around here i believe that's from factory or it's from the previous owner but it is a really nice touch, kind of gives it a little bit more of an uh, aggressive look as much as you can with a luxury SUV. It's really nice. You got the Pirelli P0s, you got 285 40 22s in the front, and then you have 285 40 22s in the back. Square setup, very clean, um, really massive brakes on there. But overall, it's a clean exterior. I like this kind of look. I don't know how I feel about the red accents, but that's just me. You do have a, it comes out as a dual tip, but it is technically a quad tip in there. It just has these little pieces that are kind of, I kind of see in there a little bit, but it is there's two pipes and then there's two pipes on that side hopefully you can hear me pretty solid i don't know i uh i feel really bad but it is starting to rain so i'm going to try and do this as best as i can I'm driving the bentega right now it's starting to rain on me ah uh, hopefully this rain doesn't really pick up but this i guess is a good real life test right now so with the 2016 and 2017 bentega you have a 600 horsepower six liter v12 engine under the hood which surprisingly very very quiet you do have a pretty Fairly impressive zero to 60 time of five seconds flat, which is not too bad if you're trying to get up and go somewhere. Your towing capacity for this SUV is around 7,716 pounds, which that's a lot. And that's more than the BMW X7 that we reviewed last week, um, where that one was around 5,400 pounds. This is an all wheel drive with an eight speed automatic, very smooth. I, it's really comfortable to me to drive. 
and the seats are really comfortable. Great visibility as always. Panoramic sunroof, which I really like. I love sunroofs. I don't know why, but I'm driving, so I can't look up in the sunroof. You do have tons of driving modes. You've got sport, Bentley mode, off-road mode, snow. Uh, you do have a comfort and a custom mode, so you can really spec out how you like your driving skills. I can see this is a really good daily driver. This one only has 41,000 miles on it, uh, which is it's a good amount of miles, but at the same time, it's been well taken care of. This is a very clean interior. Now that powerful V12 engine is going to kind of bite you in the butt when it comes to MPG. You're only looking at about 12 miles per gallon in the city, and then you're, and you're about 19 miles per gallon in the highway setting, which isn't impressive in my opinion, um, but that is because you have that big V12 eating up your gas. I would say if you're looking for something that you want a daily driver, you don't do a lot of driving, a little bit of driving, but you still like having an SUV, you still like having a bigger car, I definitely say the Bentayga is a solid option for a daily driver, um, but it really just depends on the lifestyle and the needs that you have and what you're gonna be doing with the SUV. But I wanna know your thoughts on the Bentayga. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you not like it at all? I I like it, and I could see the really good capabilities of this as a daily driver. Um, you've got solid power, you've got like 600 of the wheel, you've got a pretty pretty good sized motor in there, you've got sol solid zero to 60 time, tons of driving modes, tons of space and storage, and it's just a really comfortable ride in my opinion. And that for me qualifies as a good daily driver. I've got tons of stunk, Dunk. I've got tons of trunk space and also passenger space back there. Pretty good daily driver in my opinion. Um, and if you're looking for that kind of thing, this one is available for sale. I've left the link in the description below so you can check out more photos and get in contact with the team about picking this one up. It is on consignment with us, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.